Hello everyone, my name is Kashmir. Welcome back to another Rec Room tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Emitter V2 using the CV2 gadgets. Without further ado, let's get right on to this tutorial. What is the Emitter V2? The Emitter V2 was recently added with the CV2 gadgets and along with the CV2 actual scripting tools. It's older rather than the CV1 emitter hasn't really been used since this was added because of its diversity and the amount of effects it actually offers. So I'm going to show you how to make a basic firework using the emitter v2 along with the sound effects v2. Let's move over to that. To start making the firework using the CV2 tools, open your backpack from your watch, go to tools, press use on the maker pen. Or, if you don't want to do that and it, you think it might take too long, you can favorite your maker pen within the tools tab on your backpack, and you can just pull it straight from your back. You're now going to hit create, go to the gadgets, CV2 gadgets, here's the emitter. So, you'll already see that the emitter has a lot of values you can change, such as looping. If you don't want it to keep looping, I would set this to false, but if you want some looping, switch that to true. You can also set the size, speed, and color and maybe hook it up to other emitters. But for now we're gonna stick with one. So you're going to spawn in the button v2 and the sound effects v2. This way we can add some special effects and have a controller to actually control the firework itself. Now you're going to start the wiring, take the press signal from the button V2, and wire it to the play signal on the sound effects V2. Now we're just going to configure the sound effects V2 to play the explosion. It should be down here somewhere. There it is, small explosion. There we go. So you can close that. Next, you're going to configure the actual emitter itself. And then you're going to choose the fire. Let's just do explosion. Now, wire the sound effects v2 place signal to the start signal on the emitter v2. Then, you're going to take the release signal from the button v2 and wire it to the stop signal. Let's just redo that. There we go. So, with all that being done, we can now start our firework. So, when I press this button, it should spawn a semi-convincing firework or explosion in front of me. Very nice looking. What can this exactly be used for? I think map creators can work on fireworks like I showed you, maybe some cool light effects, some fireflies for a cabin area, or even if you just want music and a cool little fire flame effect in the back. The CV2 tools are very easy to get used to, and I think the Emitter V2 does a great job of showing how easy it is to learn CV2. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you are having troubles with any other CV2 gadgets, make sure to check out my other videos as I did cover a few. If this is something you're interested in, please consider leaving a like, or maybe even subscribing. Everything here will be posted on the official Rec Room Tutorials video channel on the official Rec Room Discord server. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on another tutorial.